last video we hiked the Palm Canyon Trail to a hidden native palm oasis in Anza Borrego State Park. This week we're exploring the Salton Sea, including Salton City, the North Shore, Bombay Beach, Salvation Mountain, Slab City, and the cutest burrowing owls. We've been coming to Borrego Springs, California for three years, and each time we pass the Salton Sea, and we wonder, what the heck's going on? It's beautiful blue water, but there's no boats, and there's no real estate. It's just mind-boggling. Let's start from the beginning. In the 19th century, a series of canals were built from the Colorado River to provide water to the Imperial Valley agriculture. In 1905, one of these canals built below the U.S. border in Mexico actually breached. It was built from the Colorado River and from snow melt and rising water. Water continued to feed and couldn't be stopped for two years. It actually filled the Salton Basin and that's what created the Salton Sea. To make this area viable, tons and tons of fish were brought in from the Sea of Cortez. And then the developer said, I've got an opportunity here. So they tried to develop this area for the people from LA and from Palm Springs. In the 1950s and 1960s, resorts and yacht clubs were built and the Salton Sea became the Salton Riviera. But this paradise was short-lived. In the 1970s, there were all kinds of warnings from scientists. They were warning about the evaporation of the Salton Sea, agricultural runoffs, and then the salinity levels were so high of the Salton Sea that it made this area inhospitable. As the sea continued to shrink, health concerns rose at an alarming rate. The lake bed, as it exposed more and more, began putting out toxic plumes of dust at times reaching LA 130 miles away. To make things worse, hurricanes and massive flooding along the shrinking lake, the once thriving area started declining and many areas were abandoned. The once popular booming resorts became wastelands. We're at the North Shore Beach and Yacht Club. Albert Fay designed and built this in 1959 as part of a $2 million development along the northeastern shore of the Salton Sea. And this became California's largest marina. This property was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2015. Established in the early 1920s, Bombay Beach was a thriving town on the shores of the Salton Sea. 
In early 2010, residents started sharing Bombay Beach with groups of creatives who produced art here. Life found its way back to Bombay Beach. In 2015, the Bombay Beach Biennale was created and is a renegade celebration of art, music, and philosophy that takes place on the elite rail edge of Western civilization, the shores of the Salton Sea. Check out this drive-in. I wonder what movie played here last. lunch at the ski in. We're at the ski in in Bombay Beach, California. The BNL season starts January 1st and ends in a celebratory weekend in the spring. This event transforms abandoned housing, vacant lots, and shoreline into a unique canvas of creative expression. I like this swing. It's, it's really fun. I haven't been on one in years. The Paris Metro is great. We're at Salvation Mountain. You might recognize this from the movie Into the Wild. So, Take a look. In 2000, Salvation Mountain was deemed a National Folk Arts Site. Then in 2002, Salvation Mountain was named a National Treasure in the Congressional Record of the United States. Slab City is an unincorporated, off-the-grid, alternative lifestyle community dubbed 
the last free place by its residents. It was formed after a military training facility was dismantled in the 1950s. Squatters started camping on the concrete slabs left behind by the base, hence the name Slab City. Along the Salton Sea is the Sunny Bono National Wildlife Refuge where we learned about burrowing owls. The Imperial Valley area is home to 70% of the state's breeding owls. Unlike most, these owls are very active during the day and nest in underground burrows. They make their homes alongside the cement agriculture irrigation ditches which are sometimes no more than three feet from the road. These small birds really blend into the dirt, but Colleen had a knack for finding them along the road. Burrowing owls stand nine inches tall about the size of a robin and have a short tail with long legs and oh their yellow eyes are amazing. The Salton Sea and the surrounding area has so much potential but there's a lot of work to be done. The Salton Sea Management Program has focused on implementing projects to address ecological threats. We saw thousands of hay bales along the shoreline to interrupt the dust from blowing into the communities and allow natural vegetation to take root. As of December 2023, the state of California received $72 million in federal funding to accelerate the restoration of the Salton Sea, its largest lake. The funding will expedite the state's 10-year Salton Sea Management Plan. We hope one day the Salton Sea will be a thriving, popular vacation area again. Thanks for following along and stay tuned for more from the Silver Vagabonds.